Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Forgive my uh, my disheveled look, my uh, slightly messy look. It is late in the night, and uh, I'm in my pajamas, and I didn't really, I couldn't really do the unboxing during the day. So here it is. Here, uh, the only time I have to do it. So I ordered a bunch of stuff on eBay. I'm doing this little unboxing a little differently for the sake of saving time. Instead of opening each package individually, I waited until I got everything, opened everything, set it down, and then I'm going to show you everything I ordered. Um, and that's it as far as intro. Um, this is a eBay uh, surprise buy. Um, you know me, I like to get a bunch of stuff when they're cheap. So it was cheap, so I got it. Uh, and some stuff I've been wanting to get for a long time. And without further ado, let me show you what I got. So, to begin with, and keep in mind, one of these boxes, which is where the majority of my stuff is, I didn't actually look in it. I don't even remember what I ordered. So I'm just pulling them out one by one, and I'm going to show you as I see them. So first thing, looks like the manpower. Um, this was actually something I, I saw, and found it was cheap, and I thought that was really cool. I love how they used to do the old types, used to do the little boxes. I have a few, like a couple of the old Morning Musume albums, and I, I think one or two of the old singles I have like this, which I bought when they came out uh, with the boxes, which I thought was cool for the limited edition. Uh, this one is for the single, not for an album. Um, so, let's see. And it has a. It doesn't even have a video, it's just a limited edition of the actual single. They don't do that anymore for the normal single. Not usually, at least. So let's open it up and see what's in here. So you open up the box, pull it out, and... Wow, this is actually sealed. Okay. That's pretty cool. The seller didn't even open it, so this is brand new. Um, I'm... that's... <laughs> that's actually really neat. This is one of my favorite singles, too. I love this one. It was really full of energy. It's the best way I can describe it. It was really well done. And it has some of my favorite people in it big group as you can see. This is back when they were a lot before they started to thin out and everything. There's a front cover. There's a back cover of Manpower. It looks pretty much the same, just different pose. Um, slightly different look on their face really is all that happens. Um, I've actually never seen the music video for this one despite the number of times I've listened to this song. So I didn't know the outfits look like that and I actually... I don't know if I like it or I don't. I'm indifferent. It has some really cool features on it. But it's not something that strikes to me personally. It's something that strikes to my heart. So, let me open this up. I guess this will be partially an unboxing after all. Some of the stuff I got is brand new. Wait. Ah, smell of brand new. There's a disc. I actually like that design of the disc. How it has the outline and then the disc rather than just a plane with like spe speckles or something silly on it. That's cool. I like that. How they had that whole Roman theme on this on this uh, single. So let's see if there's anything interesting in the booklet. Assuming I don't rip it out and then rip everything accidentally. Um, little upcoming insert. Oh, this one actually that's kind of cool. As the lyrics on the back, and instead of like the newer ones do, it actually has a nice, cool, big picture in the inside. So uh, this was something some of the older singles did too, which I really liked is that it actually, you could use it kind of like a poster. You know, I remember even American singles, some of the older ones I got. Some of the newer ones still do that. Most of the older ones I got, the the manuals, or oh, manuals, what are these, video games? The insert, the booklets, actually could be used as posters. They had posters. It folded out, and then one side would be the, like, the lyrics and everything, and the other side would be a poster. I like that. That's cool. I, pro I won't hang this up, because I, I, I don't want to damage it, because it is a booklet also, but that's cool. Um... That's definitely a plus. So let's put this away as quickly as I can. See if there's anything underneath the disc. Oh, nice. Circle of feathers. That's kind of cool. Okay. So that came with that. And inside was actually included a bunch of cards. Um, I think it's a random selection of a certain number. This might have been the kind of thing Laura was telling me about, where you buy a set and it comes with a random number of cards. So, which, yeah, it looks like a, no, it's not random. It's, they're in pairs, so it's all of them. So, you got them in pairs. Like that. Miki Fujimoto was my original favorite, if you guys remember me saying that. Out of those two, I like Hitomi Yoshizawa better, even though Asami is from my favorite generation. Um, something special by Hitomi. 
Plus, she was in Hangry and Ang Angry, and I really like how she did there. She has a very powerful voice, and she was a good leader. Um, I don't like that they're together, because it's obvious who's my favorite, I, but I really, really like Risa, too. So, And then, between Eddie and Makoto, it's a hard pick. I'll let it focus. Between Eddie and Makoto, it's a hard pick. I really like Eddie, because she's really silly, and she always makes me laugh. But the fact that Makoto went out of her way to study English... I don't know. It just makes me feel like I have a personal connection to her, but really I think Eddie is probably the one I like more just because I'm more familiar with her. And then between Sayumi and Reina, that's a tough one. I have to say I like them both equally. I can't pick one. So that's cool. Little cards, actually, that's not all of them. So it is random. Because I know I'm missing Kaori. I'm missing... Rika. And I'm missing missing Madi. So there's some missing... Oh no, Rika was in the first one. So I'm missing one pair. Interesting. It might not be random. Maybe maybe the seller... Because this wasn't actually included in the package. It was included in the box. Like this. So maybe the seller lost the other card. Which isn't a big deal. Considering how cool this is, I'm, I'm happy with it. And I'll have a uh, video. I know I keep saying this, but I will have a video of all of my stuff later. Um, I'm still figuring out, based on some input from Laura and what trouble she's been having, I am still figuring out how I'm going to approach that video, so we'll see how it goes. So that's item number one. This is probably going to be a long video as a result. Uh, another one, I was actually getting a bunch of Shuffle Unit CDs. So this one is from them. It looks like it's a Odoru 11, Sexy 8, and Happy 7. Um, I have no idea what songs are on it. I just got it because it's related to Morning Musume and it was cheap. Uh, let's see. Just lyrics inside, not really anything going on. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has a checklist of all of the uh, members, and then what groups they participated in. That's pretty neat, actually. And, uh, yeah, lyrics, and that's it. I do like the card theme there, too. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's move on. I gotta try to speed this up somewhat. And the CD just has the three names on them, so not a big deal. Alright, moving on, we've got this, which is uh, from Otome. I can't read that kanji, from, but from another shuffle unit. Um, I don't know why I got this one. Once again, probably just because. Just because. Uh, oh, it came with the OB. That's kind of nice. Let's open it up, see what songs are on here. Bitkai something something. Touch my heart. Yeah, I don't remember. Whatever. Probably just bought it just because. So it has the members in the insert. And I already showed the back and front. Where is the front? So that's that. And then let's put that away. CD is plain and boring. Cool. Nothing else. So that's it. Moving on to the next one. Yeah, like I said, this is a big package. Uh, next one. I'm surprised I have not bought this before. This is my favorite Barry single, and I don't own an actual disc version of this. I only own the album version. So I got the single. Um, it was open, but it's actually in nearly perfect condition, really good condition. With the OB once again. The disc is a little bit dirty, but nothing, nothing a little bit of cleaning can't do. Help. There's it. Inside. And a little cute little tennis theme. Oh, and there is a picture inside. Picture inside of them all playing tennis. Yeah, I really like the single. I, I can't really pinpoint my finger on why. It's not exactly the most complex. The theme of the song isn't exactly deep. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have the best singing quality. The dance isn't exactly the best. I, I don't know what it is. It's just... I just enjoy it. Okay. And then the disc is in the shape of a tennis ball. I like that. Okay, so let's move on. If I can actually put this away properly. Alright, next up. We've got another shuffle single. This is from... Let's see. Don Shingu something. That's the name of the song. Uh, Ju, Junin, Junin Matsuri. 
Matsuri means celebration festival, so ten person festival, I guess, is how you translate that as a group name. I <laughs> actually kinda like the hairstyles, that's that's silly. It's kinda cute. Okay. Disc is a little damaged, but once again nothing a little cleaning can't work out. There's the back side. And let's see if there's anything inside. Just pictures of all the members with some info. There's that. So let's put that back. Disc just has some stars on it, so I'm not gonna waste your time. Little card that says on a guy. So this one's not in the best of conditions, but that's okay. Some of this stuff is really old, so the fact that I'm getting a hold of it is good enough for me. Next. Um, this one is... No, this isn't sealed. It's just in the sleeve. This one is from... Uh, Sanin Kitsuri. Oh no, Sanin Matsuri. Same thing. So three-person festival. These are all like festival types of music. I actually remember why. I was looking up all these songs. I tried to get as many of these as I can. They, it was during the summer, if I'm not mistaken, and they did a bunch of, uh... Oh, there's a back. There's a disc. They did a bunch of, uh, shuffles that involved festival-based music. And, uh... Yeah. So, some of it's good, some of it's decent. But I decided I'll get it all. <laughs> Silly pink wigs. And then info on the members again. So, oops, I just ripped it. This one has to be old. Well, what year is this? 2001. Nice. Well, it's okay. I'm not going to put this back in the plastic because, frankly speaking, the plastic doesn't do anything for it since it's old. Okay, here is a heavy one. I don't know what this is. <laughs> the plastic, all the stores you see, most of them are from the plastic. So this plastic wrap I will keep, even though it is probably somewhat old. No, it's not, actually. Never mind, so I will toss it. It's from a slip case. So, pull out the slip case, and there goes most... some of the stars. Um, there's also... oh, there's also a little poster. Kind of. This side's not really anything interesting, but the other side, if I want to put up, has sets of all the members. Probably there's probably four songs I'm guessing on this. Interesting. Okay. And the cover you already saw. The back is a star with all the members. Actually this is a full album. I don't know what this is. Together Tampopo. Oh it's Tampopo. Tampopo Pucci Mimi Yuko. So basically an album consisting of the shuffle groups. That's cool. Okay. So you would expect me to be more familiar with the older shuffle groups because I really enjoyed them, but I'm not. I only listened to some of them originally. Okay, let's see. Inside, I'm just going to look through real quick, see if there's anything interesting. A bunch of pictures of them in spaceships. I'll just show you one so you see what I mean. Silly little pictures in spaceships. Um, Oh, I have to show you this one. Little aliens. <laughs> That's cute. Um, let's see if there's anything else. No, that's about it. Another little alien one, but I will show you the complete shot. So, that's kind of cool. Alright. Let's get this put away. And that, and put it back. Oops. Well. So I don't think I'm going to be able to listen to all this tonight like I wanted to, but that's okay. And uh, you know what? I'm not even going to bother trying to stick it in. I'll do it later because I'm going to be opening these up anyways again later. And then we got really pretty outfits for the single. I think this is Sakura. Yeah, Sakura Mankai. Really like that. There's the other side. Good. Um, let's see anything special in this. Just a disc. Insert. 
Let's see. Oh, actually, this one's another one that you can kind of spread out and use how you want. That's kind of cool. There's the back side of the insert. Cool, cool. Cool beans. This one's in pretty good condition. Disc is almost perfect. Very good. Score. And I'll actually post a link below for where I got most of the stuff. All the stuff so far that I've shown you is all from the same seller. Um, there's only three items that aren't from the same seller, which you'll see at the end I'll show you. But uh, so far, all from the same. I really like the seller. The good deals. I'll tell you how much I got all of this for after we're done, uh, including shipping. And um, have to wait a while. It took me about four weeks to get all this, but why not press to pay? Okay. DVD. Um, I believe this is a series of some sort. I actually don't know what it is exactly. I just saw it and I, I saw that on the store the whole set was up. So I got the whole four DVD set. Um, only number one is still sealed, but that is okay. All four of them. I don't know if this is something like a DVD magazine or not. It probably is based off of what the pictures look like. Um, let's see, any inserts? No. So, yeah, that's cool. And it pretty much represents most of the, a lot of the members. Yeah, pretty much the members of the whole entire Hellet project spread across the four DVDs. So it's probably some kind of DVD magazine set. I'll tell you about it later if I uh, watch it anytime soon, which hopefully I will. Okay, and then we've got two more items from this seller. Morning, Musume. Kyo no Tamegoto. I think I read that right. Tamegoto. I don't know what that means. The katakana. But I think this is a play of some sort, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's two hours and ten minutes. I'm pretty sure it's some kind of a play. I don't know for sure, though. Once again, another thing I just ordered it was cheap and I wanted to expand my collection. This is one actually I was looking through the DVD magazines and this one was a penny. So out of all of them I ended up getting this one. Um, I've been wanting to get the DVD magazines. They're always so fun to watch. So I got this one. Uh, I couldn't help it and it was a penny and I'll keep an eye on the store to see if I find more and I will get more if there are more. So there's a the backside. So I don't know what this one's about but it does have my favorite group minus Junjun and Lin Lin. Um, so I'm sure it'll be fun. This was back when they used to do a lot of these fun things. <sighs> I love the new girls, but I don't think they do as much fun stuff. They're too serious overall. They still have their silliness, and they do let their personality shine when they can, but it's not all the time, unfortunately. They don't do it nearly as much as they used to. But they're popular, so whatever they're doing, they're doing right. But it hurts some, some of the old fans, but they'll stick around. We always do. And then the last three items. These are actually things I've been meaning to get for a long time. I wanted to get all of the media, outside media, uh, video games specifically with Morning Musume in it. I already have a Wendan, which is how I heard about Morning Musume, if you remember me mentioning that before. And uh, that's, oh, and I have the two rhythm games that are made by Ksunku. Actually, two of the three. One of them is on Game Boy Advance, which I have not picked up yet. That's Japan, Japanese only. I need to import it. Uh, but it's really expensive. So the first is Donkey Konga on um, GameCube. I thought it was interesting how small the GameCube cases were in Japan. Um, it has, I think, one Morning Musume song on it, and some other interesting Japanese songs, actually, that, that I know. Uh, because of that time period, it was when I used to listen to J-pop. A more higher variety of J-pop at the time. So this will be fun. I will need to get a Japanese GameCube. I'm looking into Freeloader and whatnot to do it, because Japanese GameCube is expensive. Um, and because this requires a bongos, I'm not actually going to emulate this on my computer, just because unless I get an adapter, although the the, game, the Wii U adapter for the GameCube controller might work. If that works, then I'll just use it on my computer and not get a Japanese GameCube. So the other item, and this one was actually really irritating because this one smelled and reeked of smoke, uh, completely reeked of smoke, and um, I didn't like that. I used a very interesting method that I had learned about online after a lot of research. It seemed like the cheapest and safest way to go since it is a video game cartridge. Um, I wrap it in fabric softener and leave it like that for a couple of days. So I wrap each individual piece, this, and the manual and everything, 
uh, for a couple of days actually for about three four days and this is about two weeks later because I got this a long time ago um, and it still smells fine I can't smell the smoke at all on anything so this is Lilliput Kingdom it's a uh, it's kind of like an Animal Crossing type of game it's it's a it's a adventure Animal Crossing type of game um, involving all of the girls being in Lilliput if you know anything about Gulliver's Travel that's where all the little guys are and then their experience is there. It's based off of a cartoon, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's all on Hello Project members, along with some a handful of other members, too. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Advance is actually region-free, so I can claim this on my Game Boy Advance right now. I have actually tested it. It works. Um, thanks to one of my good friends, uh, Doug, he actually got me uh, the Mother 1 and 2 collection for Game Boy Advance, which I have not played yet, but I will soon now that I'm feeling more confident in my Japanese. This is meant to be a children's game, though, so I think I can start this as soon as I finish the games I've started already um, and actually probably get through it and it'll be a learning experience so this one was cool I never knew this one existed I found it accidentally um, found out about it accidentally and picked it up immediately and it was cheap the last which is the first game I heard about with Morning Musume after Oendan that I've been wanting to get for a long time requires an imported PS2 or soft modding or hardware modding uh, I have two PS2s. I bought a second PS2 part specifically for this task. I still have not done it, uh, modded it. This was like three years ago. But I finally got the game, which is motivational. I'll probably emulate it on my PC, to be honest, because I can use my PS4 controller on my PC, and it'll be the same thing practically. And I can transfer the save game over to my memory card using the adapter. So it's not a big deal. Uh, so I probably won't get the uh, materials I need to mod my PS2, like I am going to for my GameCube. Anyways, without further ado, so that we don't drag this on beyond 30 minutes, I got a lot of stuff, sorry. Space Venus. Uh, a complete rhythm game based solely around Morning Musume. Now, I'm very sad that they didn't do things like this ever again. Um, complete. It's just a Morning Musume rhythm game. And interestingly, it actually has some exclusive features in it that's just for this, like some backstage stuff from the concerts that they didn't release anywhere but in this game, some interviews, stuff like that, that you'll unlock as you play, so I, I, I thought that was really cool. I've been wanting this for a long time. Uh, it's been really expensive, but on this store, uh, this is a different store actually, I found somebody selling it for like a dollar, and nobody was bidding on it, so I jumped in, last minute, bid on it, got it. So there's a manual, manual is included, and... The disc is in almost perfect condition. The front is a little dirty, but the actual disc itself is really good. So I am really happy with this purchase. And this one also came with the manual as well and the game cartridge. I'll show you real quick before I close out. Yep, still smells good. Cartridge and manual. So uh, all in all, I think this was a really good buy. What do you think I got this for? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 200 bucks. I got everything I just showed you. Is there more? Oh, and I actually ordered a set of another set of those trading cards so that I can finish my collection, um, which I won't show you opening because most of them will be repeats. Uh, I just wanted to fill in the handful of blanks that I had in my card collection. So, with that included and shipping, paid under 60 bucks for all of that. Power of eBay. All from Japanese sellers. Be very careful as a friendly warning. Try to get them from only Japanese sellers. It's not always safe to trust Taiwanese sellers because they always, sometimes they'll have a lot of forfeits. Um, and sometimes you'll just get the Taiwanese versions, which is official. But if you're collecting the Japanese stuff, then you won't have the Japanese. You'll have the Taiwanese version of, of whatever you're buying. Um, so, but most of the, my experience with it has been pretty negative because I've gotten a lot of forfeited stuff. So I've stopped. I only order from Japanese. It's a little more expensive, but at least I know what I'm getting is real. And I, I know this is all resale, so this isn't stuff that's supporting the group, but it's supporting people who support the group. It gives them funds so they can buy more stuff and then sell more stuff to people like us. And in turn, the groups get more stuff, money. So everybody wins. So that's that. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry once again that it's so long, but I had a lot of stuff, like I said. Um, and I am looking forward to messing with all of this pretty much right now. Take care, and uh, I guess I'm not sleeping for a while after all. But good night for those of you that are. Good morning for those of you that it's the morning. 
and good afternoon for the rest. Goodbye.